celebrating one of the heroes, one of the legends of UK hip hop, the one and only T.Y. And I'm joined by two of his most, you know, renowned collaborators, um, the one and only Drew Hawley and Solaheen. How would you say Ty grew artistically from the first album to the second album? Sure. Um, that's a that's a really good question. Um, you know, there were it was just a further step um, into you know into the world of Ty and and you know his um, you know he, he he just he just sort of stepped into the role of actually now I'm gonna be this now I'm gonna kind of co-produce. He was all he was like. You know, it's co-produced, Drew. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You got that. You got that. Because, and he, there was a frustration there as well. Like after, like you know, a few years after, people looked at the album and they were like, oh, okay, so Drew's this producer. He's clearly not a rapper. He's a producer, and he's played a lot of instruments, and you can see my name all over it. So surely Drew's the producer and Ty's just rapping, you know? So you produced that, innit, Drew? I'm like, it's a collaboration. It's, it's a co-production. So he, I think there, there was frustration there. And he was just like, Drew, people think that it's just you. You know, it's me. You need to come out and tell them. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, what do I do? Shout, you know, like, but, um, you know, so I was, you know, I was conscious of that. But, um, but yeah, it was very, it was very different in terms of the arrangements. You know, we didn't sort of follow... follow uh, your kind of typical, um, you know, some tracks were like that. And then some tra- tracks like Groovement just had this was, you know, yeah, we're going to do this musical breakdown and we're just going to do a 10 minute track or an eight minute track, however long it became. Because he was just like, we'll just do it and we'll do it as a part one and a part two if we need to, you know. Mm. So, yeah, it was very much kind of pushing the boundaries you know pulling in musicians and and orchestrating them so he so he really got to step up without you know the kind of you know the kind of musical knowledge that um that maybe he didn't have but he was super in tune with everything he had good pitch he knew how to come up with hooks that would pitch in with the with the key of the song even though he didn't know what the key was but he was you know he was very much in tune with the music that he was making, you know, and that we were making together and collectively with the people that we, we brought on board. So, you know, you listen to tracks like Rain, that's not your typical um, kind of arrangement. It's just, you know, so we allowed the album to just be what it what it was, you know, what it is and what you hear, hear today, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's all about Ty just kind of going, you know what? I'm not interested in any, what this person, do. I'm, that's it. I'm just doing what I want to do. And that's why I think it just stood out as an album because it was just, it was so different to what was out there. You know, it had, you know, there were kind of head nods and hats off to, to, to various styles of music, broken beat and, mm. um, you know, your kind of traditional kind of hip hop, but, you know, but it was very, it was very musical for a hip hop album at that time. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, would you say that I guess categorizing Ty solely as hip hop is really doing him a bit of a disservice, considering all the elements that's come together to create the soundscape for those um, first albums? Yeah, completely. He was, yes, he was a hip hop artist, but and a hip hop connoisseur, as he would <laughs> refer to himself as, but he was he was an artist he was a great artist you Mm -hmm. know and he was a producer and you know he had he had a very good ear um and that's you know that's just not attached to any sort of genre you know he's he was he was just very good at you know pulling pulling music together and people and bringing people together as well bringing musicians into the mix and you know getting their take on things and 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 making it that it was just so fair for 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 people as well from a business business side of things i remember coming back to the 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 tail and zybo like it never paid me for anything and i never really asked and i never even thought about it to be honest but um i remember him turning around to me and 
this was like after awkward and he was like drew i'm just gonna i'm gonna you know i'm gonna give you a little bit of money um it's not much it was like 300 quid or something but it was just like you know what you did good on the tail man and i just want to just honor you with that you know and that stuck with me because I was just like, wow, that's that's amazing because I wasn't expecting anything, you know. And you know, Ty was such a, a fair person when it when it came to that kind of biz, business side of things, you know. He didn't later on. He didn't always have the the kind of finance and you know the the kind of finance from the labels and stuff to to you know to, for him to really do what he really wanted to do. And that's why some of there were such big long gaps between some of the albums but mm. he was always very fair you know if 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 he couldn't pay you know um someone he'd be like you know what we're gonna cut we're gonna cut them in on a publishing that's what yeah. we're gonna do you know and he was really honoring to, to to various musicians and people that he brought in wow that's that's really um really insightful actually um a lot of things i didn't know you know mm. um Solihin, did you um, get a chance to work with Ty again on on future projects? Uh, well, I wasn't on. Uh, yes and no. I, I wasn't on uh, Upwards. Um, Upwards was great because it it really captured um, kind of what was going on in a way that hadn't really been captured, which I think is pure hip hop. So. You, but I wouldn't con he's not like just boom bap hip hop. Hip hop is this kind of throw loads of things in the pot, right? And uh, and you know, the, behind all of those artists and the vibes that are going on in upwards and beyond are, are things things like, you know, the Apricot Jam Band, which if you look at the Apricot Jam Band are you know, there's Jason Yard, Eric Apapule, uh, Richard Cassell, you know, people that were in quite sane. Uh, jazz warriors all of that stuff and mm. somehow he kind of weaves them together uh and you get the the different kind of genre stories that is is in things like upwards and, and he did and some time had passed you know we hadn't really worked um on anything but he was off doing his thing and then he contacted me because you know we were still cool and he was like hey yeah i'm doing this next album do you want to submit a couple of tracks like he was very clear that I'm producing this album uh, with Drew, but you know, if you want to submit some tracks, then may, maybe something will fit. So I was like, all right, let me, let me see what I've got, you know? And I was working with Joe Costar at the time and uh, Vanessa Simon and a couple of other people. I was just kind of keeping busy. Um, and, uh, and so I wasn't, I, I don't know. He he needed some tracks by the end of like the week or something like that. I'm like, well, I, I don't have time. I'm not going to put something down specifically for this, but let me see what I've got. And Joe Star was in the studio when I got the call and he was like, well, can I put something down? And I was like, yeah, okay. You know, but bearing in mind, Joe Star was like, a, I guess the early version of Ty was sort of produ production curious but ne didn't necessarily have all the chops in place, uh, but you know, had ideas ha and, and so I was like, sure, why not? So um, I loaded up some drum sounds for him. I gave him a few different patches, some sounds. And I was like, so you just want to try something? He was like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, cool. And I just, I, I said, I'm going to go and get food. I'll leave you to it. Uh, you, Cause he didn't really, you know, he just about knew how to use logic. So. I came back, he had this thing. I'm like, yeah, sounds all right. Yeah, it sounds cool. And I just tweaked a couple of things. I'm like, all right. So I sent Ty three tracks that I had and that track. And I just said, here's my four tracks. Choose whichever one you want. Um, and of course he chose the Joker Star track. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I said, you know, I didn't make that. That was Joker Star. And he was like, really? Are you sure? Like Joker Star? And I was like, no, no, that was him. And it turned into Hot Spice. And yeah. so it was like, cool. Yeah, no, I love it. So I sent him the part. And then uh, then I, I think I had to come down to your studio actually, Drew, and bring, bring the stems or something on a hard drive because the internet wasn't really a thing for us back then. Um, you know, you physically went somewhere. And and even at that, when I, when I was leaving, he was like, are you sure you, you didn't co-produce this? You know, maybe you should be down as co-producer. And I'm like, look, I wasn't even in the room. Like, I, I, I kind of hear what you're saying. 
I see where you're going, but like, this is this is Joker Star, and I'm happy. You know, I'm like, this is Joker Star. Like, I, in some ways, I feel like I'd learned some lessons about like I didn't need my name didn't need to be on everything as producer at all, and, and maybe that's some, some of the mistakes I made with um, with early work with Ty. So I'm just like, oh no no, this is all Joker Star, like. Yeah, I, I selected the sounds, but that doesn't get me a co-production, uh, you know, um, a credit. So, so that was Hot Spice. Uh, so that was that. That's it. That's my only involvement in Upwards, other than um, he'd send me demos and just ask me what I thought. And...